Hello again you guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and today I have a rummage sale haul video for you all. The season is beginning, I swear, I can feel it in the air, it's starting. Um, so I was driving to my like monthly rummage sale that goes on all year round and I happened to go past a church that was having a sale, a church wide sale that wasn't advertised so I spun around like you would not believe um, and I'm glad I did, I got some really good stuff. Real quick if you're new here, I am a reseller. This channel is all about reselling online. I sell on Etsy, eBay and Poshmark and I do that personally while being a stay-at-home mother to three little boys five and under. Um, so on this channel you're going to find everything from haul videos like this one to sales videos where I show you everything that's sold so you can see how much it's actually moving for um, as well as tips, tricks, uh, how to's, day in the life and all kinds of other fun stuff in between. So if that sounds interesting to you please do think about hitting that subscribe button down below and don't forget to say hello in the comments so that I can say hi back. All right, we're just gonna crack on. First things first. So, at this very first uh, church rummage sale, all of the clothes, oh, it's so soft. All of the clothing um, was 50 cents, which is amazing as a reseller. Um, and the plush was 25 cents for small, 50 cents for large. Believe it or not, this guy uh, did qualify as large. So he cost me 50 cents. He is from the Disney parks. My sons actually eyeballed this particular plush when we were there back in October. Um, and he was like 70 to $80 then. Um, I think think and yeah 50 cents what a steal so I grabbed him with them in mind however then I took a sneaky look at comps and it looks like he is no longer sold in the parks so uh yeah he sells for like 75 to 100 online right now pre-owned hmm. so uh I'm letting the kids decide if they want him they can have him and I'll sell him when they're finally done um and if they don't want him I'll sell him now um but either way I'm glad that I picked him up we love us some stitch Okay, one more plush that I was going to show you as well. Um, they had some older pieces and I did do a little bit of like Googling and stuff while I was there. A little bit of, little bit of comps look up and stuff on the platforms. Obviously for eBay because you can't sell plush and stuff on Poshmark. But I did get this guy. <laughs> so let me explain why I got him. He is Fisher Price. He's 1987. Um, there's his tag right there. All right, um, he was fairly easy to look up, just, you know, he's an elephant wearing sunglasses from 1987 by Fish Price. There's keywords right there built in. He's called a Puffalump, um, and these can be fairly collectible. There is a bunny that does really well, a bunny rabbit, um, and he can go anywhere from like 50 upwards. And then this guy, him new in the box with his sunglasses and stuff, actually sold for 135. I think it was in the past week that was the last sale of one of these. And then there was also him without the sunglasses, um, who sold for like between 30 and 40. There was about three or four of them had sold. Um, they were there to be looked at in the sold comps. And then there was a couple listed as well, again, without the sunglasses at around that 30 to $40 mark. He was 50 cents. He has his sunglasses and none of the other ones do, but he is pre-owned. There's one new in the box with the sunglasses. So I kind of have like a little gray area there going for me. So I may just list him a little high and see how he does. He's in good shape overall. Um, yeah, so worth a try. All right, one more like hard goods thing. I could not help myself. <laughs> I'm a sucker for 90s vintage. Like I just, I can't stop. Um, so essentially, cool pattern um it is power rangers obviously but you can see here what it is it's an underbed like cardboard storage box i actually got three of them they're all new in package and they're all from 1994 they're actually none online that i could see available when i looked again sometimes it looks a little different from your phone than it does from the computer um but i did notice that some of the 90s like power rangers memorabilia in general and like decor was selling was selling for a decent price so i figured for 50 cents a piece i'm gonna grab these like it's 1994 still new in package it's so cool um and i will find a new home for them i'm sure but it may be a sort of put up for either auction or put up high and just kind of like read the market situation all right, and I think the rest that I have is all like clothing, shoes, bags, that kind of stuff. Um, so like I said, I did this one rummage sale and then I went to my usual monthly one afterwards. Everything combined, the plushes, everything. Um, I spent a total of $27.50 and uh, I have my usual giant tote right here full of everything. It's it's big, it's not it's not shy. Um, so yeah, it uh, pretty good price point. I think it worked out at... 57 cents on average per piece so just bear that in mind as my average cost of goods 
57 cents. All right, let's get stuck in. So um, I actually, believe it or not, was fairly picky. It's funny because at 57 cents, there's not a lot that you could buy that you wouldn't make a profit on, but I was still trying to, um, you know, buy stuff that like interested me or that I thought was actually kind of cute or stylish um, or very seasonally appropriate, something like that. You know, I was, I was trying to be more mindful basically. Uh, having said that, first piece is cheat codes, which I always say, you know, maybe uh, go steady with. It's a size three though, which is one of their larger sizes. And um, I actually really like the print. Chico's has actually been doing really well for me on Poshmark. It sells pretty quickly. So this has a cold shoulder detail, which is quite nice. It's just a really nice orange um, floral print t-shirt with that cold shoulder. So larger size, decent brand, nice print, nice style, 50 cents, done. Next piece is by Daniel Rain, which is I think usually like a, it can be a stitch fix brand. There we go. It's a size extra large again, so a nice size, and it is just a blue polka dot pop over blouse. There we go. You know, again, seasonally appropriate. It'll work. Next piece is Coldwater Creek. I often don't pick this up, but this is a size large, and it is um, a linen blend. It's an open knit short uh, sleeve open front cardigan in like sort of a no, it's a white, it's quite a bright white. Um, again, the style, the fabric content is good, the brand is okay, the size is pretty good, and again, seasonally appropriate is why I picked this up. Um, I grabbed this because it was new with tags and I liked the print. So it is Talbot's, it is the older Talbot's tag, and it is a petite, it's a four petite, but like I said, new with tags was $138 originally. Here's the slightly older tag. There we go, um, and it's just a little, I guess it's like a sheath dress, and it has a lily pad print all over it. How cute is that for spring, um, or for Easter, or something like that? So I'm going to get this listed nice and quickly. Um, but yeah, newer Tech Talbots that was $138 for $0.57. Cents. Yes. <laughs> Can't always help myself, but um, I don't really know anything about this brand, but it's newer tag squad, so I kind of threw it in the bag and I figured I'd just look it up afterwards. It's Hannah, um, again, I don't know that it's anything particularly interesting, but it said it was originally $40. Um, I'm sure it's sold at like Coles or JCPenney or something like that. It's a size large um, and it's just a cable knit, sort of fairly light sweater and it has like a multicolored um, knit to it. It's like a cream with multicolored almost like speckles. So um, I figured we'll try it out new with tags. That will probably, I would imagine that will sell on eBay. We'll see. I did have a Lou and Gray top as well, which is actually going through, it's like um, in its stain removal process right now because there were some marks on it. But I figured for 50 cents, I was going to sort of take it home because I think it was an extra large and it was nice. It was like a nice knit short sleeve top. Um, I was going to see if I could bring it back to life. Um, so this is Soybu which I think is kind of like an athleisure, like uh, yoga type of brand. It doesn't sell amazingly well, but oh, what's that on the front? Oh, it's okay. Just a bit of lint. All right. Um, but it does have this like open spaghetti strap uh, detail and it's a very loose kind of swing dress with pockets, which is always nice. And it is a size extra large as well. So I think we would try that one out nice for summer and spring all right this i love me a vintage uh sweater if it's the right kind so this is a large it's made in taiwan easy spirit the brand is nothing that i really know about um i just really like it it's like almost like neon colors um with this almost kind of i don't know kind of like a fair isle type knit to it um, and it's like a fluffy knit I don't know if you can see that. It's it's meant to be like that with kind of a fluffiness to it. So went ahead and grabbed that. That probably, um, well, no, I was going to say it probably won't move until like fall or winter, but actually it might. Things sell out of season all the time. However, it won't be the first thing that I list, put it that way. I got the world's biggest fanny pack. <laughs> so I can hold that title now. Um, it is by Tinder. Okay. Um, and it's like a faux leather. I mean, this thing is absolutely massive <laughs> waste bag whatever you want to call it there are so many names now but it has so many compartments it is definitely different it's like all zippered and stuff like that definitely different um and again it's so cheap i just figured i'd grab it and try it out etsy is probably going to be the place that that moves would be my uh, prediction okay next piece is the sack um this is a bag brand in general oh i just saw a little mark on the back 
I can fix that, it's alright. And um, this is what the tag looks like inside, the Sack Original, and they often are this kind of uh, woven knit style it's just like a beige color they don't go for it too much but again nice and cheap decent brand definitely in season like boho festival style so i went ahead and grabbed it and um, this piece is by fossil Let's see if i can find there we go there we go fossil and it's just a just a little shoulder bag really it's kind of like a almost like a wheatgrass woven it's got like almost a stripe to it and then it has a braided leather strap um just a nice simple shoulder bag i don't think it'll go for too much but fossil is a nice brand and it's still popular so uh this one i don't know much about at all really it's kind of like a canvasy woven but it's by 31 which i know some people oh there's a mark there no it's still lint that's fine too <laughs> apparently it's a really really linty haul you can tell i haven't processed anything yet anyway um but it's kind of like a canvas style um it's got a long um almost like a messenger bag i would say but yes 31 um and some people collect that and you know it's only sold at parties and things like that so i'll probably pop that up on ebay and poshmark and see where it moves first next is a cardigan it's a navy blue with a white geometric print it is by michael michael cause which is their lower end brand but it is a size large um, and you know it's fairly nice so we'll see if we can squeeze $15 out of it. Okay so the next piece is a vintage collegiate sweatshirt if you've been watching my channel for any length of time you'll know I pick these up all the way through like rummage sale season, yard sale season, usually get them for like this 50 cents to a dollar and then come fall I start listing them en masse and people going to colleges or just going back to school or whatever uh, they sell really well for me usually in the 30 to 35 dollar range so this is just by bike it's made in the usa definitely an older tag it's a size large and it's tennessee balls which is most of what i find um, and it's in really good condition which is always nice for a vintage piece all right this i think i meant to like throw back <laughs> I guess we're gonna put it up an experiment now but it's not a brand I know it's just a vintage label um but it's a black uh button up almost like a sateen shirt and then it has these giant shawl like structured shoulders and it's like a f embroidered faux leather and it goes all the way across the back so it has kind of a very boho uh western type feel to it um and it is vintage like i said but i don't think i was I think I had decided that it wasn't quite right style-wise, but now I have it, so I guess we'll find out. Um, next is just a vintage sweatshirt, Lake Tahoe, color block, embroidered, um, yeah. Pretty much, pretty much standard for selling um, vintage sweatshirts online, stuff like that, especially when it is um, quite popular destinations. This I grabbed just because the print was cute really. Um, it's Talbot, this is one of the newer tags so you can see the difference there compared to the other one. Um, the P there means a size small and um, it's just a floral print but it has like a gold accent to it which is quite nice. I do not think this will move fast and I don't think it will move for very much but I might be able to squeeze $12 out of it. This I grabbed for nostalgia and I think someone else will like it too. It's East Sport and it's a proper leather like um, you know mini backpack to anyone else who grew up in the 80s and 90s have one of these <laughs> I did I did and I loved it um, and actually the back it has a zipper detail so you can either wear it like on one shoulder or you can unzip it and wear it on both shoulders you know different ways to be cool obviously um but yes it's like a slightly color block and it has the metal hardware here and then um the slide buckle that was so popular with these so Yes, uh, I think someone's going to really like that. Watch this space, we'll find out. Okay, another vintage piece here. Um, I do love selling my vintage sweaters. It's Here is the brand. It is a size large, and I grabbed it. There was quite a few by this brand. I grabbed this piece only, really, because number one, it was in the best condition. It has, like, one little sticky outy thread that I need to pop back in. Um, it has a lot of, like, padding in the shoulders, but it's cropped. It's very bright. Um, almost has like a southwesty feel to it um like i said it's cropped with long sleeves um padded shoulders and then the back has like a lower v scoop v v back i don't know v scoop whatever you want to call it on the back um but these little cropped vintage sweaters uh seem to be doing quite well we went out 
to Dollywood uh, just like in the afternoon after I'd gone sourcing and I saw like two packs of teenagers wearing little cropped vintage style sweaters with high-waisted jeans so uh, apparently they're in so I'm gonna see if I can move that too all right this is just a big old chunky cardigan um oh lord if I can find the tag all right so it's like a gray color super big like uh, fold over neck um white house black market size large it is just a little bit of deep pilling but overall it's okay um it's good size it's a good brand it should do fine next is a scrub top this is my favorite scrub brand to find um i find that it moves pretty quickly and usually around the sort of 15 to 20 dollar range it is koi size medium um and uh, one thing to remember about koi is they usually have little bead details on the tassel so just go ahead and check and make sure they haven't lost those before you pick them up but it's nice it's just like a little kind of floral abstract type print next is a j crew sweater it's j crew factory which is what those two little diamonds underneath mean it's size medium and it is a merino wool um blend there we go we focus and it has a very cute little knit ruffle detail on the shoulders it's a it's in gray and um what you can do oh, more lint just the lint kind of day and um, what you can do is down here where you have your fabric content on the inside of the sweater you can actually also find that this was from fall 2017 and the style number you can see right down there at the bottom so that's a great tip for finding out it's right down here um finding out the actual name of a piece and um if you are interested in using stock photos and things like that on poshmark that's also a way to find the photos next is just a bra um i grabbed it because it's just a nude it's like a full coverage which is what this like larger cut means it's underwired all things that you would want in your title on ebay for example um all to note in your listing and it's by soma embraceable full coverage there is the actual name of it as well so that will definitely help to sell it because you can say um the actual sort of like product name as it were this I grabbed purely because it was new with tags. It's apartment nine, but it's an extra large, so it's a good size. I thought it was a pretty, whoa, there we go. Um, I thought it was a pretty cool, cute style. It's like a sheer blouse with a sort of cami underneath um, built in. And it has a really nice um, black, almost like an ethnic print down the bottom. Um, and like I said, it was new with tags. It was originally $36. Um, it was sold at Kohl's, so it probably wasn't $36. It was probably discounted, but I might be able to squeak sort of $15 out of it. We'll see. Next is one of my favorite brands to find. It is Hot Cotton. I find that this usually, it's a size small, moves pretty quickly, especially in this style where it is like a, um, like not button up it's just a sort of pop over um, it's very boxy it's i think this one is 100 percent linen and kind of a light lime green and i would use the word lag and look in my title boho lag and look that kind of thing because of the boxy fit and just the overall style of the piece i really like selling this brand I think that hot cotton shirt as well will probably go for around 25 to 30. next is lane bryant not something I pick up usually, but this is um, a good size. It's 26, 28. That's one of the slightly newer tags. Um, the old tag, like the very old tag, has like a cursive to it. And I think there might be a newer tag since this one now. Um, but anyway, um, it's like a semi-sheer, uh, almost like a snake print, I suppose you could say. Just pin tuck pleated, I guess. Um, career blouse nice and simple great size so we will pop that up this is a scrub top that i could not resist i do get some character scrub tops when they are like more obscure characters or they're super cheap um or they're just in really good condition i have like very like very nice specific prints that i can use good keywords with it's a size extra large and it's the muppets but i grabbed it because the characters are uh, not the ones you usually would find it's beaker and is it Dr. Bunsen, is that it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Ah, let me show you the print. I love it, it's so good. Really, really good condition. Like I said, size extra large. So because it has characters that aren't your usual, you know, your Kermit and your Miss Piggy and all that kind of stuff, um, I figured it might do quite well. 
Okay, the next is another vintage sweater. It's nautica, size extra large, made in Hong Kong, but I grabbed it because uh, this thing is so heavy. And um, I grabbed it because I just really, really like the style. It's just a very classic kind of 90s, um, almost like a fair, like Nordic type print, I don't know, sweater, oversized, grandpa, sweater, cozy sweater, all kinds of different keywords. Um, but I like the colour palette though, it's really, really brightly coloured. I don't know if the camera's really doing it justice, but um, yeah, so I went ahead and put it in my bag. This thing is going to be fun to photograph. <laughs> Um, there was a few prom dresses on these rummage sales and a lot of them had damage because they were older Unfortunately, this one does not have any Labels that I can see or any kind of size tag which I've sold vintage prom dresses without size tags before But they did take a longer time to move because obviously it's it's harder for people to gauge how they're gonna fit but uh, we have giant puff sleeve short sleeves a fairly high neckline and then a dropped waist with I don't know if you'd call this like a trumpet skirt almost, like it's a flare with a beautiful bow detail and some kind of stacked um, oh, ruffles and things like that at the bottom. Lovely. And then the back, because that's not enough, the back has a low V. There we go. All right, so um, it's not very blinged up. It doesn't have like a whole load of ruffle and stuff. So I'm thinking probably around 40 to $50 for that. We shall see. All right, uh, this is a 26 to 28, so it's a nice plus size piece. It's vintage Mickey Mouse, and it's like a baseball tee. It does have a bit of wash wear to it, but it has this embroidered Mickey Mouse right here. This says team player. This thing would be amazing to wear to bed, um, or even just, you know, to wear to a baseball game if that's what you're into. So I thought it was really cool. Went ahead and grabbed it for the 57 cents. I sell a lot of vintage Disney pieces, but I don't often find the plus sizes. So um, when I do, I absolutely grab them. All right, we have a pair of plus size Levi's. They're the Demi Curve Boot in a 20W. Um, and they're just a nice dark wash with, as it said there, a nice boot cut. I need to straighten those hems out a little bit. And a stitch detail on the back pockets. Um, I tend to do pretty good with the plus size Levi's in like a nice modern style and in good shape. Um, so maybe like between 20 to 30 with those. This I grabbed purely on style, and um, unfortunately the size is a bit small, it's a Talbot's for petite. I think every, somebody just donated their entire Talbot's wardrobe, quite frankly, because I left a lot of it behind. Um, but it is a red and white polka dot um, pencil skirt, and I'll absolutely use words like retro, pinup, um, VLV for Viva Las Vegas, that kind of stuff in my title to help sell that. Next is another pair of jeans. This is by Torrid, size 18. I love selling Torrid denim. It seems to go really quickly for me in my past experience. And these are the boyfriend. There we go, it's right there, fit. Um, just again, a nice dark wash. It's gonna have a slightly shorter inseam usually because um, it's a boyfriend fit, but they're in really good shape. That is one of the newer Torrid tags as well. Um, the older one has a black and pink tag and I think it has some cursive writing and things like that so that one there with the square font is newer and um, this is not a brand I pick up all the time but I kind of like the style and it was a size large so I went ahead and threw it in it's Maurice's um, and woo, just kidding there we go um, and it's like a burnout top it reminded me a lot of Prana actually if I hadn't seen the Maurice's tag I would have thought first that it was Prana um, but it's a brown and burnt orange um, burnout and it has kind of like a pay well it's almost like a dream catcher you see like the feathers and stuff almost like a paisley dream catcher type print and um, i thought that would really look nice on my new white mannequin so we shall see next is a pair of leather ankle booties and um, i grabbed them mainly on style but i did double check the brand before i bought them and they seem to sell between 25 to 35 which is pretty good and um, i really like the style like i said so i figured that they may do quite well especially come fall they're a size Eight. they are leather they have like a stitch detail all over them and almost like an ombre style toe if you can see that there um, it's meant to be weathered like that um and yeah i just thought they were really really cute kind of like a little cowboy feel to them with a chunky block heel um so yeah and they're by nurture in case you're wondering there's the brand 
which seem to be doing okay in comps. All right, again, not a brand I usually pick up for women's, but it's size XL, it's Orvis. This is not cheap to buy in stores. It's like a red coral ruffle front cardigan. Um, if you can see that with kind of like a waffle knit to it actually. Um, yeah, just a really nice piece. It's quite heavy, it has almost like a waterfall style front. Good size, someone will want it. Um, this is purely based on size as well. This may have been a bad buy, but it's 100% wool. It's a 1X and it's by Coldwater Creek. Um, and it is a tapestry button front jacket, which don't usually do that well for me. But like I said, the, um, the fabric content is good. The size is good. And then it also has a lot of beaded embellishment as well. Um, so I figured it was probably worth grabbing for the 50 cents and just giving it a go. Coldwater Creek in the plus sizes seems to move pretty quickly for me. Just grabbed a graphic t-shirt, Mighty Fine. I think this is sold in Coles. It's a size medium, but I really like the graphic. It says, so tired with a rainbow, like a retro graphic. And then it has a tie detail down the bottom. So, you know, maybe 10 to 12 on that. All right, next item is a Calvin Klein piece. It is an XXL and it's kind of like a, it's a knit and it's like a mild body with almost like a raglan sleeve to it, but it's like a short sleeve. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, but it's a good size and it's a decent brand, so I figured I would grab it. Next is a piece that'll be going away in my winter box. It is by Merry and Bright. It's a petite large. I don't really care about the brand at all. I just care about the style. It's a Christmas sweater, ugly Christmas sweater, you could call it, um, with almost like a Christmas shopping theme. When it comes to selling Christmas sweaters, um, I usually look for something that is unique about it. For instance, the fact that this is a shopping theme. Um, so it's gonna give me extra keywords and things like that to help me stand out in, in among all of the other ugly Christmas sweaters being listed or that it's vintage or new with tags or something like that. Just a tip. All right, just a couple of things left now. So I got two pairs of Nikes, which I guess must have been from the same person. One pair is in good shape, one pair is in not so good shape. Um, so this is like a orange and blue pair. They are actually my size, so worst comes to worst, I get a new pair of Nikes. And um, when I say they're not in good shape, there's a few scuffs around the toes and there are some dark areas you see here. So I figured I'm gonna go ahead and either put them through the washing machine or try and hand wash them. 50 cents, there's not much to lose really. So if I can clean them up, their comps look pretty good. They're actually Nike fly knit and the fly knit, like I said, comparables seem fairly strong, maybe in like the 25 to $30 mark, if I can get them looking good. Um, otherwise I'll make use of them. And then this pair is actually, I think gonna do better. It's really nice style wise and they're in good shape. They look like they've hardly been worn. Um, and they're like a pink, black and gray. And they have, it almost looks like a, it's not a camo, but it kind of has that feel to it. And then like a pattern all over as well. Um, I'll take a magic eraser and I'll sort of clean up all of this um, rubber around the edges and stuff to get it looking bright again. Um, I just noticed that they're like contrasting colors on the toes. How interesting. Um, and the rest I will do just hand washing because the last time I had a pair of Nikes and I put them through the washing machine, I slaughtered them. They came out absolutely ruined. So I will be hand washing these bad boys. <laughs> okay, two more items, two more clothing items. So uh, one is this really cute, soft and sexy by American Eagle t-shirt. This is the only line that I really like, oh, hair, uh, that I ever really like to pick up by American Eagle nowadays, the soft and sexy, but it's like a little, almost like a cropped t-shirt. It's kind of short and it has, uh, daisies on it as well. It's kind of like a heathered mild style print. So, um, oh, and it is a size, it's a size medium, but you can tell it's very boxy kind of oversized. So I grabbed that hopefully sort of 15 to 18 on that. And the very last piece from this haul is, is it Turo by Vince Camuto size medium, which I think is sold at either Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. Um, there we go. Um, and it's got a sort of, it'd be like a cowl neck, I think, when it's worn, sleeveless top. It's kind of like layered at the bottom as well, like a sort of high-low thing. Um, and a very nice maroon red colour. All right, you guys, that is everything that I picked up for $27.50 this weekend. There was definitely some digging to be done, but I think it was worth it for all of those items. I pretty much only have to sell like one pair of boots to make all of my money back or just that like weird puffalump 
elephant thing <laughs> to make all my money back and then everything else is just pure profit. Let me know down in the comments below how your sourcing is going. Have any rummage sales or yard sales started for you yet? I am so excited that this could actually mark the beginning of the season. I am pacing the cage ready to go uh, rummage through people's old clothes. That sounds weird but I think between us we all know that that is a really fun thing to do. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet please do think about hitting that subscribe button down below and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye you guys!